Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today. I am, um, today it's Friday. The NCAA basketball tournament has started. I'm all suited up to support my Carolina Tar Heels. Um, I love college basketball. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk to you here real quick about something that's that's been on my mind and won't go away, so I figure it's something that I need to share. And what that is, is the importance of having a support system and a network system while you are managing your MS. And this comes up because I, earlier this week, saw um, a neighbor at the mailboxes. Our mailboxes aren't attached to our houses. We have to, there's a little ma couple mail stations in the neighborhood and that's where we go and, and check the boxes to get to get our mail and I hadn't seen her in a week or two and so the dogs were real excited we, I was out walking the dogs they saw her they were excited and, and she stopped to chat a little bit and she told me that she hadn't been well and she lives alone like me she I live alone um, I don't know if she's in a relationship but I you know I, I think that she just has friends that, that come by I live here alone. I don't have a significant other in my life right now, so it is. Um, it, it can be scary when something goes wrong and you are all alone. All alone. I have my two dogs that I love dearly, and one of them has been sick this week, so that um, kind of had me down and out because there's no one here really for me to call on for that shoulder to cry on. Yeah, I have my daughter, she's about three hours away and I have some friends, but I, I was thinking, man, if something happens, in fact, a girlfriend of mine, a couple weeks ago, I was telling her that I painted an accent wall in my house and she didn't say anything right then, but a couple days later, she was a little upset because the uh, I didn't tell her that I was painting and she said, you know, anything could have happened, you could have fallen off the ladder, and then you just be in there, you know, all by yourself. So I was like, hmm, you're right. And, you know, I mean, I've often, since I've, I've, I've lived alone, I've, you know, most of the time that I've had this diagnosis, so I've often thought about getting that little, you know, I don't know what you call it, the life alert little thing, I've fallen and I can't get up. And jokingly with friends sometimes will say that, but it's absolutely, um, it, it's, it's something to consider because if something does happen, you know, and you're, you are alone, I'm here alone, it's me and my dogs, like, you know, I feel like I'll be one of those, one of those, um, what do you call those, you know, ID stories of, you know, the mystery of what went wrong and, you know, she fell and, Hit her head and maybe could have been say or whatever I know right I'm being dramatic you know tripping but on the serious side it is important to have a support group to help you when you are feeling down and out or just somebody to talk to you know some some of my friends I don't dare talk to about what's going on as it relates to the MS I mean most days are great. Like, look at me, you know, you're all, you're, you're made up. I, when I was working, oh, you don't look like you're sick. Well, what, is, what does somebody look like when they're sick? But having a support network will be a good thing because you'll have somebody to talk to. You'll have people to talk to where there'll be no judgment though, or people that understand what you're going through. They either are going through it themselves or they're dealing with a family member that's going through it. And it could just be helpful for for my neighbor who is alone you know I offered to her she said that she was feeling really zapped by fatigue which is something we with MS we know how that can be so I offered you know to go grocery shop for her or walk her dog or more importantly go to the wine store she's a wine drinker but I know that's been cut out because while she's on medication to get this whatever it is under control, but she she asked, actually said she might take me up on that. So we share that in that we we have our love of wine. I know when I was first diagnosed with MS, of course I cut out all alcohol, and then after a while I was like, well, why? I got to have something. This is my thing. This is what I do. 
And so anyway, I digress, but because this video really is about the importance of having a good support system around you. I mean, one, my, one of my dogs has been sick this week and I couldn't get him in to the vet until today. So I've been just kind of frantic all week long, actually crying, you know, worried about my dog not knowing what was going to happen until I got in, got him in to the vet today and it's, you know, not as bad as I thought it was going to be in medicine and he should be good in about five days. So, but when you don't have, you know, someone there, that shoulder to cry on right there, I mean, I call my daughter all the time. We FaceTime. I FaceTime with my kids who were spread out throughout the United States. But, you know, to have somebody near that you can really go and talk to, if even even if it's a support group of people who understand what you're going through and you can go once a week and you know there's no judgment and you can go in there and you can just talk about whatever it is you're dealing with and know that you're not going to have any judgment. So if you don't have a good support system folks around that are helping you and being supportive, if you're on medication, I know the pharmaceutical companies that make these meds usually have a patient support kind of network and they can link you up with somebody also the national ms society i know that they have information on their website and can and local chapters where you can probably get linked up with a focus group a support group buddy system as if you will um to help you manage not not only ms but just life it's it's nice to have somebody I think that you can lean on that can help you you know help you navigate this life with this chronic disease that we're dealing with so with that said I'm anxiously awaiting the evening basketball games that are going to come on tonight I am going to be sipping on adult beverages I'm going to start out with a champagne this is a brute champagne I believe it might be barefoot barefoot wine wineries it's a um, it's a California winery not the most expensive certainly because that's not what I do but it, it's tasty it gets the job done so this is what I'm starting my evening with I'm gonna make myself some shrimp something I'm gonna create something for dinner and sit on the sofa and cuddle with my dogs and enjoy the rest of the evening just chilling and watching basketball. So, thanks for stopping by and until next time, cheers! It's really tasty.